so this is our application right now running in a local and what we can do is that we have to deploy it to a Roku application right so what we can do is that now just close it and clear the things out so let's freeze our requirements so whatever we have installed so we have installed flask and request we have to request uh, we have to give to a deployment server that would exactly your requirement so we will just freeze it php freeze will give you the list of requirement that you have installed so this is the thing that you have installed so what we can do is that we will just put it down in a requirements dot text okay i hope the spelling is right and hooray now we have three a file where the all the requirements are there what we have to do with the Huroku now you have to tell the Huroku that this application is a python file now how you can do is that you can you have to put you know, what you have to do is that you have to put this proc file also so this is a proc file and I you can see here uh, what we have to do is that we have to copy the proc file and we have to create here in this project okay not coming so what you can do is that uh, right now new file and I will name this as say proc file okay not proc proc file and please make sure that you don't add any kind of extension to it if you add any kind of extension that Heroku will not be able to recognize it that is a that it's a flask application so you have to mention that okay google this is a type of web application and gunicon will basically a module which will run this app this is your application and uh, we are just logging the files nowhere okay so now we have a, our application ready and we can see the changes also by running our application in the local and so only the thing remaining is to deploy it in your server right and this is our application every time we refresh it it gives us new job okay okay so let's do thing let's do that so let's cancel it out let me clear the things up so what you have to do is that you have to install the Heroku toolkit toolbed toolbed first so I believe you already you guys have already mm, just go to dash uh, just go to heroku.com and sign up and uh, after that what you will see is that this page you can go to dashboard.heroku.com right now i have four machines are running and you have to install the Heroku tool 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 belt okay so that will i will not cover but you can just google it around tool belt install in your pc or whatever i'll use mac and they will give you a simple instruction how you can go through it uh, how you can install the Heroku tool toolkit and it's a very simple you can just download the OS installer and after that uh, you can just check with the command that it's working so after installer is run you can just go, uh, do a Heroku version so let me do mine so it will tell me that what kind of Heroku version that I have so I have no plugin installed as well as Heroku version telling me that. okay so what I'll do is that uh, first of all I have to make this git repository also right so what will die, I do is that uh, I have already installed the git if you don't have clue about what exactly is a git git is a basically a uh, version control system and you can install git on mac by using git mac install google it and uh, after that you will have a command available git to you so just initializing the uh, git repository here and uh, if you do if you do git status it will tell you that these are the files available that are not yet uh, committed somewhere so we'll just do git add and dot for the all the files and it will do certain things and what it will do is that we'll have to first make a first first commit first okay let's clear it out so right now we have committed all the changes so what we'll do is that we'll create an application of Roku okay Roku I hope I'm spelling everything right yes I am create 
so it will create a uh, it uh, it will so it has created a domain for us and this is the git repository right now so what we have to do is that uh, we have to push our changes to Heroku master right so it will push our changes whatever we have right now with us to our Heroku application that is git.heroku.com secret woodland and some no random number okay so it, right now it, what it is doing is that it's uh, uploading all the files that you have on our server for deployment purpose and it will take a time uh, but uh, everything that uh, command line is giving us it's a uh, information and this information that you need to know need to know more about it and so it will read the proc file and so it's trying to and so it's already said that okay python app is detected and it's using a python with a 2.712 it's okay we are happy with 2.7 and whatever the last last one and it's installing the installing the requirement with the python python installed minus r requirement dot text and uh, after that uh, what it will do, it will do is that its proc file has already declared that it's a type of a web application and compressing it's compressing the files and launching it so now you, what you can do is that you can just do heroku open okay so it will open open up your default browser and it will open that application in your okay so we have application here right now application error let so what you can do is that this, this is the thing that you have to do it's very simple sometimes we do have it certain kinds of error so you can try with stvpa also okay so right now it's not working it's okay it doesn't don't be just don't uh, get just panic what you can do is that just uh, go to dashboard.roku.com what roku.com and you can see the logs also so this is the thing that i am going to uh, that i will be teaching you how to debug your application when you are deploying it in your server right this is the main thing that you have to do so our application what secret woodland and uh, you can go to settings uh, more and you can just log see the logs what exactly is going on so it's saying that Gunicon was command was not found. Okay, that's the pros. That's the problem actually. So the problem was that <coughs> when you have copied the proc file, sometimes uh, the special characters gets copied. Okay, so this is the problem with everything. Have many this have this problem happens many times. Okay. So make sure you have a proper proc file with you and so what I will be doing is that I will be just uh, I will be replacing this proc file with my another proc file that, that is already there and replace okay and I will try it again so same thing you have to do is that you can just check out the git status it's saying that nothing on the branch to comment because profile was same ditto as well as okay what you can do right now is another thing which is very say, uh, simplest thing we have to deactivate it we deactivate the environment uh, I forgot to tell you this thing and now if you do get uh, if you do get status will say nothing so what we'll do is that uh, let me stop this video and uh, I'll come back to you in the solution so guys so our application is running on this right now and uh, we have successfully done it so what you have to do is that uh, make sure you have a pro uh, write proc file as well as uh, in the requirement just mention that gunicon with uh, 19.06 and then so this was missed from my side and uh, you can add it at air and again you have to do git push huruku and git push huruku master and after the deployment you can type huruku open and it will give you this thing so we have an uh, application running so every time we refresh it it will automatically give you a new uh, joke with it related to Chuck Norris you can do whatever you want so in the next tutorial what we are going with that we will be learning more about the flask routing 
routing how can use templates and all and we will be deploying our changes to directly to the Heroku and uh, I hope you like this video please comment down if you face any problem if you have faced any problem related to port already used in Heroku and all let me know I have a solution for that also so uh, thank you guys please like like this video share this video among your friends and uh, hope to see you in the next video thank you